Plus. Have you had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. You sure? Your eyes are bloodshot red. Nope, nothing. I just, um, just had a really stressful day. It's a film filled with a diverse cast and a major ethical dilemma. Do you do something illegal if it's for the greater good of helping your family? We are speaking with some of the cast and crew of the movie Takeout Girl, and we'll ask one of the producers how she balanced making the movie with her classes at UNLV. More starts right now. Hey, everybody. Well, guys, it looks like Hollywood is getting a bit better when it comes to diversity. A new study out of USC says that things have improved quite a bit in the past decade. The study found that 31 of the top 100 movies last year featured minority actors in a starring or co-starring role compared to just 13 in 2007. Wow. Now, women and girls also starred or co-starred in 43 of the top 100 films last year. That's twice as many in 2007. That was a bad year. Now, there's still a lot of work to be done, clearly. Diversity is still a huge issue at this year's Oscars. Only two actors of color were nominated in the acting categories, Cynthia Erivo and Antonio Banderas. Now, none of the nominations for Best Director went to a woman, even though Greta Gerwig's Little Women was nominated for Best Picture, which never made sense to me. But guys, some local filmmakers are working to change all that. Joining me now is Melissa De La Rosa and producer of the new film, Takeout Girl, and the movie star, Hedy Wong. Melissa, welcome back. Hedy, <laughs> welcome to more. How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much. So good having you. You were here a while ago and we were talking about Crazy Rich Asians. Yes. And the need for more <laughs> representation in Hollywood, and you've just taken on that challenge yourself and said, I'm gonna work to improve things and start here in Southern Nevada. Exactly that. So we are, well, I just produced this feature with Hetty and our team, and we shot the film here for the most part. There was some part in uh, Riverside, California, but we shot the majority of the film here in Vegas, and all of the crew, all of the cast, it was diversity on screen and off screen. I love that, because that's really important too, not just the faces we see on screen, but the people who are employed behind the camera as well. And Hetty, congratulations, you are the star of this new film. Yes, I, I am. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about your part in the movie? Yeah, I, um, I play um, a takeout girl who delivers food from my family's restaurant. And um, it takes place in Southern California, L.A. And she sees an opportunity, and she takes it. You know, Ooh. as I keeping the <laughs> long story short, she takes it. And it's just really about, you know, just young people finding a way, even though it might be... Uh, a more questionable way sometimes. Well, that's a good tease. You're selling the movie correctly. Because yep. <laughs> you don't, don't want to give too much away. Right? Right? Don't give me <laughs> but how important is it to you as an actress, too, to make sure that these roles, because I remember with Crazy Rich Asians, mm -hmm. it had been 20 years since a major studio movie, right. Joy Luck Club, and so we've really got to make sure that we... It, when people see roles that reflect themselves, that, if that's what we have to see in Hollywood, reflected yeah. back. It's, it's, for me, it's really important for my community to see representation on the big screen and for us to keep adding to that to you know how would you say that was it like, like it just as I was growing up when I was growing up it was the same thing I never saw people that looked like me I never saw stories that I could really relate to so like that's what we're doing we're making mm -hmm. stories we're, this is actually based on a true story Love and that. we're making it so that you can see more representation on screen it's like the see her campaign where they're like and not just getting more roles but roles in you know positive and you know authentic portrayals of women not just sometimes we'd see things but they would be in stereotypical roles and we have to elevate that conversation as well yeah and I love this Takeout Girl, by the way, you've already had a lot of interest in film festivals and it's really yeah. getting some buzz. It's crazy. So we have our official premiere coming up. It's at Cinequest in March. So March 7th, 9th, 13th, and 15th, we have four screenings and it's in its 30th year anniversary and it's just blowing our minds because it's Cinequest Cre Film and Creativity Festival. Like it's huge. It's an Academy Award wow. qualifier and I never thought that we were going to get in and this is the first of the festival circuit for us. And can people see it in Vegas soon, you think? We're really hoping we can see it in Vegas soon. Once we know, we're definitely going to let you guys know where and when. Well, the festivals are a great circuit to get distribution, whether it's with Netflix or a studio, and then hopefully we can all see it. Takeout Girl. Yes, yes. thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank I love what you're doing. I can't wait to see the film. Thank you. And thank next you. time you come on, can you teach me how to do that hair? Yes. <laughs> that is like, I want, that, I want that look so bad. All right, Jason, over to you. Okay, thanks, guys. Well, speaking of movies, back.